News and a story you'll see exclusively on 13 News Now. How the city of Norfolk is working to crack 30 year old cold cases. In recent months, two men have been indicted for rapes that happened in the early 90s. Brenda McIntosh is in the studio now after speaking with the city's Commonwealth's attorney. And Brenda, how are prosecutors able to bring forth charges so many years later? Well, Dan, Virginia law is unique in that there is no statute of limitations for felony cases. Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney, Ramin Fadahi, says as new technology brings new leads, there's no way for a wrongdoer to wait out the clock. Norfolk grand juries recently indicted two men for two separate rapes dating back to the 1990s. People think that they can get away with crimes. They think that if time passes, that somehow they're out of the woods. Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney, Ramin Fadahi, says there's no statute of limitations for felony cases in Virginia, meaning there's no time limit for prosecutors to file charges. No matter how old the case, no matter how far in the past, if, if there is a break, we are going to charge. Court documents show in recent months, grand juries indicted Linwood Scott Jr. and Vernon Gay for separate rapes that happened in 1992. Scott is already behind bars for raping a 19-year-old woman in 1994. A judge sentenced Scott to 30 years in prison for that crime decades later in 2022, after detectives retested a rape kit. These cases, they went cold in the 1990s. Leads petered out, and technology wasn't what it is today. Fadahi says detective work and new technology played a big part in the new indictments. He says this should serve as a reminder that while time may pass, justice can catch up. You may wake up, it may be five years, 10 years, 20 years, but somebody eventually may be coming for you and maybe don't do whatever it was that you were thinking about doing in the first place. And Fadi also noted a move under former Virginia T Attorney General Mark Herring that eliminated the state's rape kit backlog. The move entered more than 2,500 rape kits to the National DNA Database, assisting detectives in finding new leads. Dan? All right, thank you. Vernon Gay is due for a trial by judge in March. The other man already in prison, Linwood Scott, was just indicted this week and has not had a trial date set yet.